Welcome to another exciting episode of Life Theory. Today, we're going to unveil the secrets of the wealthy and how they use their knowledge to minimize their taxes legally. Are you ready to uncover the 15 tricks the wealthy use to evade taxes? Buckle up, because this eye-opening journey is about to begin. You'll be amazed by the clever strategies and tactics they employ. But remember, knowledge is power, and with this knowledge, you can make informed decisions about your financial future. So, stay tuned, and let's dive right into the world of tax optimization. Number 1. Reinvesting Profits for Wealthy, Top Tax Planning Tips When it comes to tax planning, the wealthy are always a step ahead. One of the primary strategies they employ to minimize their tax liabilities is reinvesting their profits. By doing so, they can effectively reduce their taxable income while simultaneously growing their wealth. Reinvesting profits involves taking the money earned from a business or investment and putting it back into that same business or another investment opportunity. This allows the wealthy to grow their assets over time, creating a snowball effect that leads to even greater wealth accumulation. One common way the wealthy reinvest their profits is through real estate. By purchasing additional properties, they can generate more rental income and benefit from potential appreciation. Real estate is a particularly attractive option for tax planning because of the numerous tax breaks available, such as depreciation deductions and the ability to defer capital gains taxes through a 1031 exchange. Another popular method for reinvesting profits is to invest in stocks, bonds, or other financial instruments. By continuously reinvesting dividends and interest earned, the wealthy can compound their returns and grow their portfolios faster. Moreover, certain investments, like municipal bonds, offer tax-free income, making them even more appealing for tax planning purposes. For business owners, reinvesting profits can involve expanding their operations, hiring new employees, or investing in new equipment. These actions not only help the business grow but can also lead to significant tax deductions. For instance, businesses can deduct the cost of new equipment through the Section 179 deduction, which allows them to write off the entire purchase price in the year it was acquired. One crucial factor in reinvesting profits is timing. By carefully planning when they reinvest their profits, the wealthy can take advantage of various tax laws and incentives. For example, they may choose to reinvest in a year when they expect to have a lower overall income, thus reducing their taxable income and potentially lowering their tax bracket. Reinvesting profits is a powerful tax planning strategy employed by the wealthy to minimize their tax liabilities and grow their wealth. By taking advantage of tax laws and incentives, they can effectively reduce their taxable income and enjoy the compounding effects of reinvested profits. With careful planning and a long-term perspective, anyone can employ this strategy to build their wealth and reduce their tax burden. Number 2. Maximizing Deductions – How to Reduce Your Tax Liability One of the essential strategies that wealthy individuals use to minimize their tax liabilities is maximizing their deductions. Deductions are expenses that can be subtracted from an individual's taxable income, reducing the amount of tax owed. By taking advantage of available deductions, the wealthy can significantly decrease their tax bill and retain more of their hard-earned money. There are countless deductions available to taxpayers, and the wealthy are well-versed in identifying those that apply to their specific situation. Some of the most common deductions that they leverage include, mortgage interest deductions, homeowners can deduct the interest paid on their mortgage, effectively reducing their taxable income. This deduction is particularly beneficial for those with high mortgage payments or living in areas with high property values. Charitable contributions, donations made to qualified charitable organizations are tax deductible. Wealthy individuals often make significant charitable contributions, not only for the tax benefits but also for the satisfaction of giving back to their communities. Business owners can deduct a wide range of expenses related to their business operations, such as employee salaries, office supplies, and travel expenses. 
By carefully tracking and documenting their business expenses, wealthy entrepreneurs can significantly reduce their taxable income. Retirement Plan Contributions Contributions made to qualified retirement accounts, such as 401s and IRAs, can be tax-deductible. By maximizing their contributions, the wealthy can lower their taxable income and simultaneously save for their retirement. Medical Expenses Taxpayers can deduct medical expenses that exceed a certain percentage of their adjusted gross income. This deduction can be beneficial for those with high medical costs or ongoing health issues. Investment-related expenses Certain investment-related expenses, such as fees paid to financial advisors, can be deducted from taxable income. The wealthy often leverage this deduction to offset the costs associated with managing their investments. Maximizing deductions is not limited to the wealthy, anyone can employ this strategy to reduce their tax liabilities. The key is to be aware of the available deductions and maintain accurate records of all expenses that qualify for a deduction. By doing so, taxpayers can effectively lower their taxable income and minimize their tax bill. Maximizing deductions is a crucial strategy for minimizing tax liabilities and preserving wealth. Number 3. Moving to tax havens, ultimate tax avoidance strategies. Another popular tax avoidance strategy employed by the wealthy is moving to tax havens. Tax havens are countries or territories with low or no income tax rates, offering individuals and businesses the opportunity to minimize their tax liabilities. By establishing residency or incorporating their businesses in these locations, the wealthy can legally reduce their tax burdens and protect their assets from excessive taxation. Tax havens have long been an attractive option for those with significant wealth, as they offer numerous benefits beyond just lower tax rates. Privacy and confidentiality are often valued by wealthy individuals, and tax havens typically provide strict financial secrecy laws that protect their residents' personal and financial information. Additionally, these jurisdictions often have less stringent regulations and reporting requirements, simplifying the process of managing assets and investments. It is essential to note that moving to a tax haven is not a decision to be taken lightly. There are many factors to consider, including the cost of living, quality of life, and potential legal and ethical implications. Furthermore, many countries have implemented anti-tax haven measures, making it more challenging to avoid taxes entirely. The United States has implemented the Foreign Account Tax Compliance Act, which requires U.S. citizens and residents to report their foreign financial assets and income. This legislation has made it more difficult for Americans to take advantage of tax havens without facing potential legal consequences. Moving to a tax haven can be an effective tax avoidance strategy for the wealthy, but it also requires careful consideration and planning. While these jurisdictions offer lower tax rates and increased financial privacy, there may be trade-offs in terms of quality of life and potential legal implications. Number 4. Profit Shifting – Legal Ways to Avoid Paying Taxes Profit shifting is another legal tax avoidance strategy employed by wealthy individuals and corporations to minimize their tax liabilities. This technique involves strategically moving profits from high-tax jurisdictions to low-tax jurisdictions, ultimately reducing the amount of taxes owed. Many multinational corporations use profit shifting as part of their global tax planning strategy, taking advantage of differences in tax rates and regulations across countries. One common profit-shifting method is through transfer pricing. Transfer pricing refers to the pricing of goods and services exchanged between related entities within a multinational corporation. By setting the prices of these transactions in a way that allocates more profits to subsidiaries in low-tax jurisdictions, corporations can legally reduce their overall tax burden. A corporation may have a subsidiary in a high-tax country that manufactures products and another subsidiary in a low-tax country that sells the products. By setting a high transfer price for the products, the profits generated by the sales subsidiary will be higher, while the profits of the manufacturing subsidiary will be lower. 
As a result, the corporation can reduce its overall tax liability by paying taxes on the higher profits in the low-tax jurisdiction. It is important to note that while profit shifting is legal, it has come under increasing scrutiny from governments and international organizations such as the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development. In response to concerns about tax avoidance and profit shifting, the OECD has developed the Base Erosion and Profit Shifting Project, aimed at addressing these issues and ensuring that multinational corporations pay their fair share of taxes. Profit shifting is a legal tax avoidance strategy that can help wealthy individuals and corporations reduce their tax liabilities. However, as the global regulatory environment evolves, companies and individuals utilizing profit shifting strategies must ensure they comply with all applicable laws and reporting requirements. Number 5. Charitable giving, tax-saving methods for the wealthy. Charitable giving is not only a way for wealthy individuals to contribute to the well-being of society, but it can also provide significant tax benefits. By making substantial donations to charitable organizations, wealthy individuals can reduce their taxable income, leading to lower tax liabilities. In many countries, charitable contributions are tax-deductible, meaning that the amount donated can be subtracted from an individual's taxable income for the year. The resulting decrease in taxable income leads to a corresponding reduction in the amount of taxes owed. Additionally, in some jurisdictions, the government may offer tax credits for charitable giving, providing further tax savings. One popular approach for high net worth individuals is to establish a private foundation or charitable trust. These entities allow the donor to retain control over the distribution of their charitable gifts while still taking advantage of tax benefits. The funds or assets contributed to a foundation or trust are typically tax deductible, and any income generated by the assets within the entity is generally exempt from taxes. This allows the foundation or trust to grow over time and continue supporting charitable causes. Another option for wealthy individuals is to donate appreciated assets, such as stocks or real estate, instead of cash. By doing so, they can avoid capital gains taxes on the appreciation of the assets while still receiving a tax deduction for the full fair market value of the donated assets. Despite the tax benefits associated with charitable giving, it is important to remember that the primary motivation for these donations should be a genuine desire to contribute to the greater good. In summary, charitable giving can be an effective tax-saving method for wealthy individuals, allowing them to support causes they care about while reducing their tax liabilities. Number 6. Equity Compensation – How Rich Individuals Get Even Richer Equity compensation is a powerful tool used by wealthy individuals to grow their wealth and minimize their tax liabilities. It is a form of non-cash compensation that involves granting company shares or stock options to employees, executives, or other key stakeholders. This approach can lead to significant financial gains for those who receive equity compensation and provides various tax advantages compared to traditional cash compensation. One of the primary benefits of equity compensation is that it aligns the interests of the company's stakeholders with its long-term success. By granting shares or stock options, wealthy individuals and executives have a direct financial stake in the company's performance, incentivizing them to work toward increasing the company's value. As the company grows and its stock price rises, those who hold equity can see substantial appreciation in their wealth. From a tax perspective, equity compensation can be advantageous for both the company and the recipient. Companies can deduct the value of the equity granted as a business expense, reducing their taxable income. Additionally, recipients often enjoy preferential tax treatment on the gains realized from their equity holdings. In many jurisdictions, long-term capital gains are taxed at a lower rate than ordinary income allowing wealthy individuals to keep more of their earnings. When employees or executives are granted stock options, they generally do not pay taxes at the time of the grant. Taxes are only assessed when the options are exercised and the shares are sold. If the shares are held for a certain period before being sold, 
the gains may be taxed at the lower long-term capital gains rate instead of the higher income tax rate. It is essential to note that equity compensation also carries risks, such as the potential for the company's stock price to decrease or the company to underperform. Therefore, individuals receiving equity compensation should carefully consider their financial goals and risk tolerance before exercising their options or selling their shares. Number 7. Art Investment for Tax Benefits, Appreciating Value Investing in art has become an increasingly popular strategy for wealthy individuals to diversify their portfolios, preserve their wealth, and enjoy tax benefits. Art investment offers a unique combination of financial and cultural value, as well as several tax advantages that can help minimize tax liabilities. One of the main attractions of art as an investment is that it can appreciate significantly over time, particularly if the artist gains prominence or the artwork becomes more desirable in the art market. As the value of the art increases, so does the potential return on investment for the owner. Additionally, art is often considered a tangible asset, which can be an attractive hedge against inflation or economic downturns. From a tax perspective, art investments can offer several advantages for wealthy individuals. In many jurisdictions, the sale of art can be subject to favorable capital gains tax rates, particularly when the artwork has been held for a long period before being sold. This can result in a lower tax burden compared to other forms of income or investment gains. Another tax benefit of art investment is the potential for estate planning and wealth transfer. In some countries, valuable artwork can be used to reduce estate taxes or inheritance taxes by gifting the art to family members or placing it in trust. This can help preserve family wealth while also allowing the next generation to enjoy and benefit from the art collection. Additionally, charitable donations of art can offer significant tax deductions for wealthy individuals. By donating artwork to museums, galleries, or other cultural institutions, Donors can receive a tax deduction for the fair market value of the artwork at the time of the donation. This can help reduce taxable income and support the arts community simultaneously. However, art investment is not without risks, and the market can be volatile and challenging to navigate. It is crucial for investors to carefully research and understand the art market, seek professional advice, and consider their risk tolerance and investment goals when investing in art. Number 8. Borderless Wealth, Tax Optimization Through Multiple Citizenship This strategy, known as borderless wealth, offers several advantages that can help minimize taxes and maximize financial freedom. One of the main benefits of having multiple citizenships is the ability to choose where to live, work, and invest based on favorable tax laws and regulations. Different countries have various tax systems, and by strategically selecting a primary residence or citizenship, wealthy individuals can significantly reduce their tax burdens. For example, some countries do not tax foreign sourced income, which can be highly advantageous for those with diverse global investments. Multiple citizenships can also provide greater flexibility and access to international investment opportunities. With the ability to invest in various countries without restrictions, wealthy individuals can diversify their portfolios and capitalize on global market trends. This can lead to higher returns on investment and a more robust financial future. Another advantage of obtaining multiple citizenships is the ability to create efficient estate planning strategies. By holding assets in different jurisdictions, wealthy individuals can optimize inheritance tax planning and ensure that their wealth is preserved and passed on to future generations with minimal tax implications. Multiple citizenships offer greater mobility and access to global markets, making it easier for wealthy individuals to travel, conduct business, and establish connections worldwide. This increased global access can lead to additional financial opportunities and the potential for further wealth generation. However, pursuing multiple citizenships as a tax optimization strategy is not without its challenges. The process of obtaining citizenship in another country can be time-consuming, complex, and costly, often requiring significant investment or a thorough understanding of local regulations. 
Additionally, tax laws and regulations can change, which may impact the effectiveness of this strategy over time. Borderless wealth through multiple citizenships can provide wealthy individuals with numerous advantages, including tax optimization, diversified investment opportunities, and increased global mobility. By strategically selecting their primary residence and citizenship, wealthy individuals can minimize their tax liabilities and maximize their financial freedom. Number 9. Gifting Assets, the Tax-Free Way to Transfer Wealth Transferring wealth to family members, friends, or other beneficiaries through gifting assets can be an effective tax-free strategy for wealthy individuals looking to minimize their tax liabilities. This method allows them to pass on a portion of their wealth without incurring significant taxes, ensuring that their loved ones receive the full value of their gifts. One of the primary advantages of gifting assets is the ability to avoid or reduce estate taxes. By transferring assets to beneficiaries during their lifetime, wealthy individuals can potentially lower the value of their taxable estate, reducing the overall estate tax burden upon their death. In many jurisdictions, gifts up to a certain annual exclusion amount are not subject to gift tax, allowing for tax-free transfers of wealth. Another advantage of gifting assets is the potential to minimize capital gains taxes. When a person gifts an appreciated asset, such as stocks or real estate, the recipient typically assumes the original cost basis of the asset. This means that when the recipient eventually sells the asset, they will be responsible for paying capital gains taxes on the difference between the original cost basis and the sale price. By gifting the asset, the original owner can avoid the capital gains tax liability that would have been incurred if they had sold the asset themselves. Gifting assets can also be a valuable estate planning tool, allowing wealthy individuals to provide financial support to their loved ones during their lifetime. This can include funding education, providing for medical expenses, or helping with the purchase of a home. By strategically gifting assets, wealthy individuals can ensure that their wealth is used to support their loved ones in the most tax-efficient manner possible. However, there are certain limitations and considerations to keep in mind when gifting assets. Each jurisdiction has its own rules and regulations regarding gift taxes, annual exclusion amounts, and the tax implications for the recipient. It is essential to carefully review these regulations and consult with a financial or tax professional to ensure that the gifting strategy is implemented correctly and legally. Number 10. Hiding from taxmen, investing in cryptocurrency. Investing in cryptocurrencies has emerged as a popular method for wealthy individuals to potentially reduce their tax liabilities and maintain a level of anonymity. Cryptocurrencies, such as Bitcoin, Ethereum, and others, have decentralized, digital nature, making them attractive to those seeking to avoid the watchful eyes of tax authorities. However, it's essential to understand the risks and legal implications associated with investing in cryptocurrencies for tax purposes. Cryptocurrencies offer a degree of privacy and anonymity not typically found in traditional investments. Transactions are recorded on a decentralized ledger known as a blockchain, which allows for pseudonymous transactions without the need for a centralized financial institution. This feature can be appealing to those looking to keep their wealth and investments hidden from tax authorities. However, the anonymity provided by cryptocurrencies is not absolute. While transactions on the blockchain may be pseudonymous, they can still be traced back to the individuals involved if proper measures are not taken to maintain privacy. Additionally, many countries have implemented strict regulations surrounding cryptocurrency transactions and reporting, which could negate any potential tax benefits. One strategy that some wealthy individuals employ when investing in cryptocurrencies is using offshore accounts and shell companies to hold their digital assets. By doing so, they can potentially avoid reporting requirements in their home country and benefit from lower tax rates in offshore jurisdictions. However, this method is not without risks and can lead to severe legal consequences if discovered by tax authorities. It's important to note that using cryptocurrencies to evade taxes is illegal and can lead to significant penalties, fines, and even imprisonment. 
Governments worldwide are increasingly cracking down on tax evasion and money laundering using digital currencies, and many countries have implemented strict reporting requirements for cryptocurrency transactions. While investing in cryptocurrencies can offer a degree of privacy and potential tax benefits for wealthy individuals, it's crucial to understand the legal implications and risks associated with these investments. Number 11. Retaining Assets, Avoiding Capital Gains Tax Capital gains tax is a tax levied on the profit made from selling or exchanging an asset, such as stocks, real estate, or valuable collectibles. When a wealthy individual sells an asset that has appreciated in value, they may be subject to capital gains tax on the difference between the purchase price and the selling price. However, there are legal strategies that wealthy individuals use to minimize or avoid capital gains tax, allowing them to retain more of their wealth. One common method for avoiding capital gains tax is simply to retain the assets rather than selling them. By holding on to appreciating assets, individuals can defer capital gains tax indefinitely. This strategy is particularly effective for long-term investments, as capital gains tax rates are generally lower for assets held for more than a year. Additionally, holding onto assets can result in a step-up in basis upon the owner's death, allowing heirs to inherit the assets with a higher cost basis, effectively eliminating the capital gains tax liability. Another strategy for reducing capital gains tax liability is to offset capital gains with capital losses. Investors can strategically sell underperforming assets at a loss to offset the gains made from selling other assets. This process, known as tax loss harvesting, can help to minimize an individual's overall capital gains tax liability. Investing in tax-advantaged accounts, such as individual retirement accounts or 401 plans, is another way for wealthy individuals to defer capital gains taxes. Funds invested in these accounts grow tax-free, and capital gains taxes are only applied upon withdrawal, usually at retirement age when the individual may be in a lower tax bracket. A more complex strategy involves using a 1031 exchange in the context of real estate investments. This provision in the U.S. tax code allows investors to defer capital gains tax on the sale of a property if the proceeds are used to purchase a like-kind property within a specified timeframe. This enables investors to continually roll over their gains into new investments, deferring capital gains tax until the final property is sold. 12. Bankruptcy as a tax shelter, surviving financial ruin. Bankruptcy can be a devastating event for anyone but wealthy individuals have been known to use it as a strategic tool to protect their assets and minimize tax liabilities. Although declaring bankruptcy might seem counterintuitive for someone with significant wealth, it can provide a legal means to reduce or eliminate certain debts and taxes. One way that bankruptcy can be used as a tax shelter is by wiping out certain types of tax debts. In specific cases, Income tax debts may be dischargeable in bankruptcy if they meet certain criteria, such as the tax debt being at least three years old, the tax return having been filed at least two years before the bankruptcy, and the tax assessment being at least 240 days old. If these conditions are met, filing for bankruptcy can help eliminate some tax debts, offering a form of relief to wealthy individuals facing significant financial challenges. Another advantage of bankruptcy for wealthy individuals is the protection of certain assets. While bankruptcy typically involves liquidating assets to repay creditors, some assets may be exempt from this process, depending on the bankruptcy chapter filed and the state's exemption laws. For instance, a primary residence, retirement accounts, and certain personal belongings may be protected from liquidation in bankruptcy, allowing wealthy individuals to retain a portion of their wealth even after filing. It's important to note that using bankruptcy as a tax shelter is not without risks and consequences. Bankruptcy can have a long-lasting impact on one's credit score and financial reputation, making it more challenging to secure loans, mortgages, and other forms of credit in the future. Additionally, bankruptcy may not discharge all tax debts, particularly those related to payroll taxes, trust fund recovery penalties, or taxes resulting from fraud. Filing for bankruptcy should not be taken lightly, 
and wealthy individuals considering this option should consult with experienced bankruptcy attorneys and financial advisors to understand the implications fully. While it can provide some tax relief and asset protection in specific situations, it's essential to weigh the potential benefits against the long-term consequences carefully. Number 13. Living on a yacht, reduce tax obligations with floating home. For the wealthy, living on a yacht can be more than just a symbol of luxury and freedom. It can also be a creative way to reduce tax obligations and maintain a greater degree of financial flexibility. By choosing a floating home, affluent individuals can take advantage of various tax benefits while enjoying a unique and lavish lifestyle. One of the primary tax advantages of living on a yacht is the potential to avoid or minimize property taxes. Since a yacht is considered personal property rather than real estate, it generally doesn't incur the same level of property taxes as a traditional home. This can result in substantial savings for individuals who choose to live aboard their yachts full-time. Another potential tax benefit of living on a yacht is the ability to claim a floating home as a primary residence. In some jurisdictions, taxpayers can claim deductions for mortgage interest and property taxes on their primary residence, even if that residence happens to be a yacht. However, specific rules and regulations apply, and not all yachts will qualify for these deductions. It's essential to consult with a tax professional to determine eligibility and ensure compliance with relevant tax laws. Living on a yacht also offers the opportunity to establish residency in tax-friendly jurisdictions. By docking in countries or states with low or no income tax rates, yacht owners can minimize their overall tax burden. Moreover, spending significant time in international waters can further reduce tax liabilities, as many countries only tax residents on income earned within their borders. However, it's crucial to remember that tax laws vary by country, and the process of establishing residency can be complex. It's essential to work with experienced tax advisors and legal professionals to navigate the various tax implications of living on a yacht and to ensure compliance with all relevant regulations. 14. Estate Tax Planning – Creating Trust for Wealth Transfer Estate tax planning is essential for wealthy individuals who want to preserve and transfer their wealth efficiently. One popular and effective estate tax planning strategy is creating trusts. Trusts offer several benefits, including reducing estate taxes, providing asset protection, and ensuring that assets are distributed according to the grantor's wishes. A trust is a legal arrangement where a person transfers assets to a trustee, who manages those assets for the benefit of one or more beneficiaries. Trusts can be tailored to meet specific estate planning objectives and can be structured in various ways to minimize estate taxes and maximize asset protection. One type of trust commonly used for estate tax planning is the irrevocable trust. Once established, an irrevocable trust cannot be easily changed or terminated by the grantor. Assets placed in an irrevocable trust are generally considered outside of the grantor's taxable estate, which means they won't be subject to estate taxes upon the grantor's death. This can result in significant tax savings for high net worth individuals. Another type of trust used for estate tax planning is the generation skipping trust. This trust is designed to transfer assets to beneficiaries more than one generation younger than the grantor, such as grandchildren. By skipping a generation, the trust can avoid estate taxes that would otherwise be levied on the assets when passed down to the grantor's children. The assets will still be subject to a generation skipping transfer tax, but the tax rate may be lower than the estate tax rate, resulting in potential tax savings. Trusts can also provide asset protection for beneficiaries. Trusts can be structured to shield assets from creditors, lawsuits, and other financial risks. This can be particularly beneficial for high net worth individuals who want to ensure their wealth is preserved for future generations. Finally, trusts allow grantors to maintain control over the distribution of their assets, even after their death. By specifying the terms of the trust, grantors can ensure that their assets are used in ways that align with their values and goals, such as supporting charitable causes, funding education, or providing financial security for family members. 
Number 15. Shrinking tax bills, depreciation for tax write-offs. Depreciation is a tax-saving strategy that wealthy individuals use to reduce their taxable income and shrink their tax bills. Depreciation is the process of allocating the cost of tangible assets, such as real estate or equipment, over their useful life. By claiming depreciation on these assets, taxpayers can offset the income generated by the assets, effectively lowering their tax liabilities. In the context of real estate investments, depreciation allows property owners to recover the costs associated with acquiring and improving the property over time. The IRS allows property owners to claim depreciation deductions on residential rental properties over a 27.5-year period and on non-residential properties over a 39-year period. By claiming depreciation deductions, property owners can significantly reduce their taxable income, which in turn reduces their overall tax liability. Depreciation can be particularly advantageous for high net worth individuals who invest in real estate or own businesses with substantial tangible assets. As assets lose value over time due to wear and tear, obsolescence, or other factors, depreciation deductions help offset these losses and provide a more accurate representation of the asset's true value. Another depreciation-related tax-saving strategy is the use of bonus depreciation and Section 179 expensing. Bonus depreciation allows taxpayers to claim a larger depreciation deduction in the first year an asset is placed in service, while Section 179 expensing allows businesses to deduct the full cost of qualifying assets in the year they are purchased and placed in service, up to a certain limit. Both of these provisions can lead to substantial tax savings for wealthy individuals and business owners. It is essential to note that depreciation rules and regulations can be complex, and the proper application of these tax-saving strategies requires careful planning and expert guidance. Taxpayers should consult with a qualified tax professional to ensure that they are maximizing their depreciation deductions and staying in compliance with tax laws. Depreciation is a powerful tax-saving tool that allows wealthy individuals to shrink their tax bills and preserve more of their wealth. By strategically claiming depreciation deductions on eligible assets, high-net-worth individuals can effectively reduce their taxable income, resulting in lower tax liabilities and increased financial flexibility. And that's a wrap. Today, we've revealed the 15 tricks the wealthy use to evade taxes, from reinvesting profits and maximizing deductions to creative methods like living on a yacht and investing in art. The world of tax optimization is vast and fascinating, showing just how creative people can get to protect their wealth. Now that you're equipped with this knowledge, you have the power to make informed decisions about your finances and, perhaps, adopt some of these strategies to optimize your tax situation. Remember, it's essential to consult with a qualified tax professional before making any significant financial decisions. Thy is not a legal advice, it I just a educational and entertaining content. We want to thank you for joining us on this thrilling journey into the secrets of the wealthy. Your continuous support and engagement keep us motivated to bring you the best content possible. Don't forget to like, comment, and share this video with your friends and family and subscribe to our channel for more exciting episodes of Life Theory. Until next time, keep on rising!